You know, this speech in Oakland was classic. It was nothing but empty talking points and free stuff. And the fact that she chose to do it in Oakland, which is an iconic place, also tells you where the Democrats' mind is right now. At least they seem to think that they want to play to the most extreme parts of their base. And so it's a message about identity politics and free stuff and nothing else. Right, and by the way, you can already tell that the media is going to uh, be prepping Kamala Harris up because she made a major error, a major factual error when she was talking about climate change last night. She claimed climate change is real and it's happening now and I don't have to tell you here, folks, on the West Coast because of all the wildfires that you've experienced, just like I don't have to tell people who've experienced floods and hurricanes. Literally two months ago, the United Nations... This is not a conservative organization. This is not some, this is not an organization that is a right wing think tank. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said there is little basis for the claim that severe weather events are correlated in any way to uh, our carbon footprints or as the Democrats like to call it, climate change. She made a claim, a pretty, a pretty serious claim that is not based in any kind of science, any kind of fact. And the mainstream media was just like, oh, look at her go. She's doing so great. She's bigger than Obama. Right. I mean, th again, it's shiny new toy syndrome. Uh, and maybe there'll be somebody coming up the pike. Hey, listen, there's no one ex beats the left at creating whole new kinds of identity. So who knows what's going to come up between now and the election. But right now, they're, they're just up their game in this regard. And everyone's ooing and eyeing over it. But there is no substance there. And what we have to hope is that Americans kind of get that these people are just n destroying American exceptionalism by replacing it with this idea of identity politics, free stuff, and just chipping away at exactly what makes America great or what makes America. And here's the thing. Americans across the board, across demographics, across the country are feeling an improvement in their lives thanks to Donald Trump's policies. And they need to understand those policies go by the wayside as soon as someone like Kamala Harris takes the White House. The Democrats are pay playing to the worst possible instincts. They're playing to the left. Media is letting them go along with it, as you point out. They're not correcting nonsense. And none of that's good for the country. But I think it's good for the Republicans in the election, hopefully, because the message will get out. And hopefully that means Donald Trump is running on a, you know, a, a platform of actual success in making people's lives better and making America great again versus people who got nothing to say besides, hey, look at me. and I'm going to give you free stuff. Right. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.